and that the subway could be anything. I could photograph a beast or I could photograph a beauty. And so there was a challenge going into the subway because there was a little bit of a nervous energy and uh, apprehension because at that time the subway was unsafe, particularly if you're walking around with a, an expensive camera. Bruce Davidson defies the traditional mold of a street photographer and transcends the boundaries of conventional photojournalism. At 90 years old, he remains an active force in the world of photography. He defines himself as a humanist photographer, perhaps because his work revolves around portraying the emotional tension of vulnerable individuals or socially excluded groups, addressing communication challenges, capturing the tumultuous youth, and exploring the quest for self-esteem in a world filled with anxiety, group dependence, and the formation of social communities. Davidson's passion for photography dates back to his childhood when, at the age of 10, his mother set up a darkroom in the basement of their house. In adulthood, he abandoned commercial photography and portraits of celebrities like Marilyn Monroe to immerse himself in long-term documentary projects. He spent over five years working in the New York City subway, exploring post-war suburbs in England and Scotland, delving into the Harlem ghetto, documenting the criminal world of street gangs, capturing the daily activities of circus artists, and revealing the everyday lives of American football players. Driven by his creative impulse, and armed with a handheld Leica camera, Davidson predominantly offered a discreet, elegant, agile, realistic, an intuitive vision of urban spaces and their inhabitants, often in black and white. As an heir to the dramatic tone of photographers, like Robert Frank and Eugene Smith, Davidson distinguished himself with intimate shots, bold framing for the time, a gray and leaden grain, meticulous attention to detail, shadowy textures, and an emphatic use of chiaroscuro. Considered the most precise documentary photographer of his generation, Davidson actively participated in the dizzying social transformations of the time, 
giving a face to social isolation in the urban spaces of the United States, a reality not always portrayed in television series like Mad Men. Some of his works lean toward the social documentary characteristic of the testimonial photography of the 1960s and 1970s, to the extent that he is now considered one of the photographic equivalents of the new journalism. This narrative approach, utilizing the first person and a participative attitude, allowed him to question the flaws of a society in constant disorder. In summary, Bruce Davidson's body of work is an extensive portrait of the world, documenting countless human types, life situations, and moods. Yet, it is also a reflection of his own perception of the world, and his unique way of interacting with others. Bruce Davidson was born in Oak Park, Illinois, in 1933. When Davidson was 10, his mother set up a darkroom for him in their house basement. He began to pursue his interest in photography, and soon he connected with a local photographer, who taught him about technical aspects, including printing and lighting skills. During his teenage years, he won an award for his photograph in a photo contest at the Kodak National High School. After completing high school, he attended the Rochester Institute of Technology and later Yale University. As a thesis for his college, he created a photography essay, documenting the emotions of football players when they are not playing the game. This work was published in 1955 in Life magazine. Following this, Davidson served at Fort Huachuca for the United States Army Signal Corps in Arizona, where he had photography assignments. Due to his outstanding studies, an editor invited him to join the Post newspaper permanently, providing him with an opportunity to refine his skills. Later, while stationed in Paris, he met Henri Cartier-Bresson, showed him his portfolio, and received advice. During his stay in France, Davidson created Widow of Montmartre, a photo composition featuring a Parisian old woman. His artistic abilities were influenced by Bresson, Eugene Smith, and Robert Frank. In 1957, after serving in the military, Bruce Davidson worked as a freelance photographer before joining Magnum Photos. He then produced notable works, such as The Dorf and Brooklyn Gang. From 1961 to 1965, he produced his most famous work chronicling the effects and events in the United States during the Civil Rights Movement. In 1962, Davidson was awarded the Guggenheim Fellowship to support his project, which was exhibited at New York's Museum of Modern Art. Additionally, the National Endowment for the Arts awarded him a grant for photography. Moving on, East 100th Street, was another popular project, based on East Harlem's infamous block, also showcased at MoMA. This was followed by Subway, a classical depiction of the New York City subway system in the 1970s. In the 1990s, he explored Central Park for four years. In 1998, he returned to documenting East 100th Street, earning him an Open Society Institute Individual Fellowship Award. Davidson's works have appeared in museums and galleries worldwide. In 2008, a portrait book of his work was published, featuring individuals like Marilyn Monroe, Kiki Smith, Andy Warhol, John Cage, Jack Kerouac, Leonard Bernstein, and Fanny Lou Hamer. Bruce Davidson has directed two award-winning short films, the first, Living Off the Land, and the second, Isaac Singer's Nightmare and Mrs. Pupko's Beard. Additionally, a photograph from his series, Brooklyn Gang, graced the cover of Bob Dylan's 2009 album, Together Through Life. In 2011, Davidson received an Outstanding Photographic Contribution Award, at the Sony World Photography Awards, and in 2018, he was honored with the Infinity Award for Lifetime Achievement, from the International Center of Photography. Over his professional life, Bruce Davidson has earned a respected position as a documentary photographer, remaining famous worldwide through various publications.
Bruce Davidson, a legendary photographer, leaves behind a rich legacy not only in his captivating images but also in the invaluable lessons he imparts about the art of photography. One of the key takeaways from Davidson's approach is the importance of becoming part of the community you aim to capture. He believed that establishing a genuine connection with the subjects enhances the authenticity of the photographs. By immersing oneself in the environment, a photographer gains insights into the lives of the people they are documenting, making the resulting images more profound and impactful. Seeing the world from the subject's perspective is another fundamental principle that Davidson emphasizes. Instead of merely observing from a distance, 
he encourages photographers to step into the shoes of those they are photographing. This empathetic approach allows for a more intimate portrayal of the subject's reality, fostering a deeper connection between the image and the viewer. Davidson's work demonstrates the power of this perspective, as his photographs often reveal the humanity and vulnerability of his subjects. A crucial piece of advice from Davidson, is to overcome hesitation when taking photographs. He believes in seizing the moment and capturing the raw emotions as they unfold. This candid approach yields images that encapsulate the true essence of a scene, avoiding the artificiality that can result from overthinking or overplanning. Davidson's work exemplifies the beauty of spontaneity, showcasing the authenticity that arises when a photographer trusts their instincts. Knowing when to work in black and white versus color, is a skill that Davidson mastered throughout his career. He recognized that the choice between the two mediums could significantly impact the narrative of a photograph. While black and white photography emphasizes form and composition, color adds a layer of emotional depth. Davidson's discernment in selecting the appropriate medium for each project highlights the importance of understanding the visual language and its impact on storytelling. Another lesson derived from Davidson's methodology, is the importance of seeking permission. Despite the spontaneity he valued, he also recognized the significance of respecting his subjects. Requesting permission not only establishes a sense of trust but also allows for a more cooperative and collaborative photography experience. It is a reminder that ethical considerations should always be at the forefront of the creative process. Davidson's philosophy also encourages photographers to embrace the journey without always having a destination in mind. This approach opens up opportunities for serendipity and discovery, fostering a more organic and genuine body of work. By allowing the narrative to unfold naturally, photographers can create a more profound and authentic representation of the world around them. Avoiding pigeonholing into definitions, is another principle that Davidson advocates. He encourages photographers to explore various styles and genres, allowing for artistic growth and evolution. Breaking free from constraints enables a more expansive and innovative approach to storytelling through photography. The commitment to long-term projects is a cornerstone of Davidson's legacy. He emphasizes the value of investing time in deeply understanding and documenting a subject over an extended period. This dedication results in a comprehensive and nuanced body of work that transcends superficial impressions, offering a more profound narrative. Davidson's ability to capture moods in his photographs is a testament to his keen observational skills. He encourages photographers to be attuned to the atmosphere and emotions surrounding a scene, infusing their work with a distinctive mood that resonates with viewers on a visceral level. Beyond the artistic realm, Davidson imparts a valuable life lesson, gratitude. He encourages photographers to be grateful for what they have, recognizing the privilege of being able to document the world through their lens. This gratitude fosters a sense of humility and appreciation for the opportunities and experiences that photography affords. Finally, Davidson underscores the importance of giving back to the community. Through his work, he demonstrated the transformative power of photography in raising awareness and inciting positive change. By using their skills to benefit the community, photographers can contribute to social causes and make a meaningful impact beyond the realm of art. In conclusion, Bruce Davidson's teachings extend far beyond the technical aspects of photography, they encompass a profound philosophy on life, community, and the responsibility that comes with the ability to capture moments in time. Through his lens, he invites aspiring photographers to not only refine their craft but also to embrace a mindset that transcends the boundaries of the viewfinder. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. This way, you'll always stay up to date with all the videos I produce here. Until the next one. See you later.